What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Nicola Espresso, and welcome back to another Advanced Warfare video here today on my channel. Today, we're going to be talking about it's a little bit more upbeat than yesterday's video, in which we talked about the PC version of the Havoc DLC getting delayed for those players. So, in lieu of a more depressing story yesterday, today we have something a little bit more uplifting, that being something that the community loves to see at times, that being map remakes. So, as it stands right now, we already know that we're going to be getting three more DLC packs. That's kind of common knowledge, but what we don't know is what the contents of those map packs will be. Now, in previous games, we've seen a few remakes here and there throughout one of the DLC packs, maybe two if we're lucky in terms of fan favorite maps making a return in the present game. But in a recent interview with VG247, Sledgehammer's Michael Condry did in fact touch on this subject a little bit and remakes in Advanced Warfare some more, talking about opportunities to bring back fan favorite maps into the present title being Advanced Warfare. Michael Condry said, one new piece of feedback we have heard in Havoc is the fan desire to see some classic maps make their way to Advanced Warfare, and we're taking a look at some opportunities to really highlight the vertical gameplay mechanics in some reimagined franchise fan favorites moving forward like we did with the Atlas Gorge. Verticality is a key component of the new movement set in Advanced Warfare, and we've doubled down on that for Havoc. We're about to drop some news on how we're pushing even further into that space in the coming DLC offerings, so stay tuned for more soon. The final thing he stated was the Avalanche Dynamic event in Drift is a fan favorite as is the more sinister flavor of Sideshow with the creepy clowns and wide open sight lines. The AE-4 is also a hit, bringing the benefits of a directed energy weapon to the AR class for the first time. Now, right now there is absolutely no idea, no confirmation, nothing like that on what kind of stuff he's talking about that we can see here in the future, but holding him to his word, we'll see more of this soon. Apparently some information is going to drop shortly on what we can see here coming in the near future, most possibly leading up into the next DLC pack. Also with more talks of map dynamic events as well as weaponry in the Havoc DLC, I can't help but think that we're going to be seeing more of that coming in the future, yes, including more weapons. So taking a look at some of the maps in Call of Duty history that were pretty much fan favorites or liked in general by the community whenever the game was out, what maps could we be seeing returning from each of the games that hasn't either had an installment or really just fits the characteristics so far of what we've seen in Advanced Warfare? My personal thinking is we could see one of the following becoming, if not more, to any of the DLCs in Advanced Warfare. So my list would probably be Castle from World at War, Derail Invasion, Karachi, Quarry, Sub Base, or High Rise from Modern Warfare 2, WMD and Jungle from Black Ops 1, Sea Town, Resistance, and Arcaden from Modern Warfare 3, Hijacked, Standoff, and Raid from Black Ops 2. All of these, in my opinion, first off, haven't been remade in any way, shape, or form in any previous Call of Duty DLC, but also can add to the openness and verticality and play to the skill set and movement sets of Advanced Warfare. Now, obviously, that is just my thinking. That's just something that I thought of that maybe could work out pretty well. But again, I'm not making any big bucks over at Activision or Sledgehammer, so I don't really have a say in that kind of stuff. But all theorizing aside, we do know 100% that Sledgehammer is looking to incorporate some fan favorites into the actual game. And we should be getting some information here shortly, probably within the next month or so, in which we can learn more about what exactly they're talking about and planning. But that's where we're going to end the video today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know you guys think down there in the comment section down below. What map would you like to see return in Advanced Warfare for one of the future DLC packs? Thank you guys once again so much for watching. If you like the video, be sure to leave a like rating down below. And share to your Facebook, Twitter, and or MySpace if you're OG like that. Or I was greatly appreciated if you're new here. Be sure to subscribe to the best of color Advanced Warfare content. Any new news and information, you guys know exactly how to find it right here on my channel. Thank you guys once again so much for watching. My name is Nicola Espresso. As always, hope you guys are having a great day. I shall see you guys tomorrow. Take care and peace. Surprise, motherfucker. <laughs>